Hey, I hope everyone's been having a great week of Vanglory. I know I've been having a lot of fun. I made it back into the hotness, lost it, made it back up there again. Man, those games, those ranked games are tough. I don't know if anyone else is having as much a time struggling in ranked as I am. I end up playing a lot of support and, you know, it just, I don't know, what do you what do you do as a support player when your team just doesn't do what they need to do? You got you to gotta set them up right. And sometimes it just doesn't work out. But uh, still, I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, those limited edition skins that uh, Baywitch Celeste and the Pumpkin Spice Petal, they're going away soon, so you better get on them. Pick them up now. Um, you're going to regret if you don't have them. Uh, a year from now, if you, there's no way to get them, and they're just gone, like you're going to be like, oh, what was I thinking? I should have picked them up then. So you know, pick them up now. Uh, no regrets, right? Just get them. Uh, pedal, pedal will be back. Pedal will have her day in the sun again. So don't worry there. Uh, this week I got Matt from Fame Glory app coming on to talk all about the app, why you should download it. Uh, it's a pretty fantastic app. Tons of great information. There are a lot going on. Like everyone should have it on their phone. Uh, it's an iOS and Android, so it's a good companion to Van Glory, especially if you play a lot. And I know I play a lot. I got it on my phone. I usually check items and things like that when I'm thinking about it. Like, oh, maybe, maybe I should build this next time, or maybe we should do this. So definitely worth picking up. And then we got some fun announcements coming. We got a lot of tournaments happening. The esports scene for Van Glory is just exploding. So get ready for all that. And I want to mention again, if you're enjoying the show, I really appreciate everyone who's listened to me, everyone that talks on Twitter, sends emails to shadowthevein at gmail.com. That's always great. Um, I also have the Patreon running. That's over at patreon.com slash shadowthevein. And we got some goals set up there. If we get to a certain amount, we'll start doing two shows a week, uh, maybe some other stuff, more streams, more... Uh, or like maybe like a Vanglory game show. I got some ideas here, so just need some more support to make it happen. But I love doing the podcast, so that's not going to go anywhere. Uh, but yeah, check that out. If you can donate, great. If not, no worries. Thanks for listening. I love that. Uh, but let's jump into this. This is episode 56. Uh, we're coming up on a year in November for the show. Uh, we'll do something special for the one year release or one year anniversary of Shadow the Vein. So uh, keep an eye out for that. But here we go, episode 56. Shatter the Vein, a podcast about vain glory. This is the 56th episode of Shatter the Vein. My name is Brad Chmielewski, and this is a podcast all about vain glory. Every week, I try to break down the news, gameplay, game tips, and hopefully we can all become better players together. And you know what? This community is fantastic. There's so many great people playing the game, streaming the game, promoting the game, and uh, every week, bringing on someone new who's doing just that. And this week, I have Matt, the founder of Fame Glory. Welcome. Uh, Your app, everyone should be downloading this and using this this is a fantastic app but i i feel like you could probably do a better job introducing what fame glory is sure sure uh okay so fame glory is a an app for android and ios free to download and use completely free uh, and if you love vain glory then you, you need this app it's it's your pocket guide to vain glory um, it co- we cover all the news um loads of game information We've just launched uh, a new guide section, which is fantastic. Um, oh, cool. Taking on um, uh, one of the one of the guys called the Ace Aaron, who's written all those guides. Really great content. So, yeah, it's um, it, we push out all the latest news. Um, so we generally get the news out faster than SMC does <laughs> through, through their notifications. So we, we work really hard to try and you know do that and deliver the news and, and everything to the community as as quickly as we can. Really. Cool. What what inspired you to like? make this app like why like, um is it the game or yeah i mean just... i think like lots of other people that, that that you've interviewed before you know we first saw uh, the game in the keynote at apple uh, yeah. and i i'm not i'm not a gamer uh, per se at all I, I dabbled with a few games and what have you but not not really been a gamer but i we saw this thing on on the stage um you know at the apple event and yeah it, 
it kind of blew us, blew me. It was me and my my fiance were sat on the sofa watching it, and we thought it was fantastic. So I think she got a, an account. I think it was a, an Asia account because it wasn't available yeah. in, in the UK. That, that's um, the SEA account, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so she she downloaded it, and then f- once I got my hands on it, um, I, I couldn't really put it down. You know, it's <laughs> it's been like that ever since, really. So. Um, I decided because uh, my background is development to uh, websites and I'd done some apps before um, and I thought well there's not really anything out there that that's that's covering the game and because I yeah. loved it so much I'd, I'd set to work on um, on the app uh, two months work or something like that before the first version came out in January oh, um, cool. yeah. so yeah I mean if you haven't got the app yet you go to fameglory.app.com or just search fame glory in you know in the iOS store or the Apple Store, and it'll come up top, so you'll find it really easy. Yeah, and so you you do other, you just mentioned you do other apps and your web designer, so it looks great and the website looks really nice. So. Yeah, yeah, it's um, I I self employed web designer um, cool. and we sort of do apps. Um, the first app I did was for my business to as a customer support app. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it just seemed quite natural to me, you know to. To, to bring something like that and I'm really what I love about it is just the community engagement through the app I mean we've got 30,000 30, users now 31,000 users of the app and that's growing by about 2,000 users a month so oh, it's okay. re- really positive that we've got that many people um, interested in in the app and you know growing the community for the game itself and, and SCMC. So what what can people when they go in there, what do they find? They find like uh, hero guides and info on like cards and every That's item, right? right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, it was it was lovely when the cards and skins arrived because that gave me another hundred hours work to do <laughs> in the app. But yeah, um, when when you when you download the app, uh, you, you know you, the the first thing I think that most people go to is is the heroes page. So we list all the heroes, yeah. um, their abilities, all their cards, all the skins. Everything that we think that people want to know um, or have on hand. So, you know, it might be that you you can't play a game, but you can just take the Fame Glory app out and just recap your knowledge on an item or something. Right. So, because um, we've got all the shop items listed in there and, and what everything does. Um, and, and the dynamic news as well. So, every time something comes out, like Celeste Skin and things like this, or the <laughs> latest news, we put that into the app. So, that's um, updated. Uh, straight away so you can keep up to date with all the news from one 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 um, location um, on the app you see so it's really good nice and is it all english or do you have other uh languages <laughs> so is that is, is that a coming thing uh, yeah <laughs> sore um, subject <laughs> no not sore subject it's um i think the i think i'm about 500 hours into the app in terms of development since okay since we we first started in it and it is definitely definitely something i, I want to do um it's a time thing um yeah. I, 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 we have had offers of, of you know people that do translations for us which is really great um always happy to have people come into the uh, come to the team anyone that wants to help we, we always consider applications and things so um but yeah it there is an awful lot of work uh, and it is something on the roadmap definitely okay <laughs> Some Good point. To know. <laughs> uh but yeah i'm sure it's a uh... Uh, most of super evil stuff is in English first, so then they yes. then they kick it out. So it helps that you know it has that big base and it covers NA and EU. So that's yeah, I'm sure you're pretty good there. We've got we we we've got our analytics in the app. We know where our users are, um, you know, and uh, across the Asia and Southeast Asia, there's a lot of users that way um that use the app and yes it would be nice to introduce another other languages um so yes certainly on the roadmap okay do you even have time to play the game still or are you mainly <laughs> like just yeah. focused on this <laughs> no 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 i do i mean um i do play uh with because um the community is we're here in the uk and um you know the, the time zones make it make it a, a bit of a challenge um, okay so I'm, I'm usually up till two or three in the morning you know because <laughs> we're ahead here um so i do play i don't get much time to play ranked i'd like to play more ranked but um i just tend to be right okay i'll pick up pick up my ipad and i'll, I'll play a quick game so I'll, I'll do casual yeah. um but yeah it's it's busy with 
a uh, fiance, two children, a dog, full time job, uh, plus the app. So mm-hmm. yeah, but I, I do still probably still playing um, probably ten, fifteen, twenty games a week, something like that. So right, that's not bad. Who's your what's your go to role or even go to hero when you jump um, into a game? Yeah, I'm I I main support Arden. Okay. Uh, I don't know why. I mean, I I really value the support role um and i really miss it if if i do carry it sometimes i if i'm not playing hard and i'll play celeste lane okay. um like so many other people at the moment right now yeah <laughs> um but yeah i i think the support role is, is they're a bit like the unsung hero of a match sometimes you know um having a great support person can really let you carry excel um so yeah. I, I just love that the dynamic role where you can be involved right across the map doing you know doing things to try and push the team um so i do do love that and arden i don't know what it is about arden but when since he came out yeah um i've always always loved him so i've like trashed all my cards to get the tier two arden (laughs) so i have my tier two arden and i'm I'm really looking forward to one day when the tier three comes out yeah i'm sure that's a Hopefully not. Uh, maybe, maybe maybe not in one point ten, but I'm sure it's uh, it's coming soon. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, um, and then we're talking about skins. Uh, we're gonna do a, a giveaway for you being on this episode, and yes. these limited edition skins going away. Do you wanna you wanna tell people about that? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, first off, the limited edition skins they are fantastic, aren't they? I mean, I I love them. I think I've probably played Celeste more since Bewitched came out because it looks so good. Yeah, dropping, <laughs> dropping, dropping those cauldrons on people's heads, <laughs> you know, it's great. So yeah, but they're limited edition, and um, there's only really this week, you know, until one ten comes out, and then they're gone. So um, since we're on the show, we thought we'd run a competition to give away eighteen hundred ice to someone. Okay. Um, so if you haven't got that skin yet. We're giving the opportunity to get the ice to get get one of the skins, or even if you have the skins, you know, eighteen hundred ice. We all we all love ice, so yeah, sure. <laughs> and it'll um, get you one of those next skins coming yeah, out. Yeah, that's right. So if you if you want to enter, uh, just make sure you download the Fame Glory app. So FameGloryApp.com. Uh, just go to the news section, and it'll be right at the top. Um, it'll say win eighteen hundred ice, and all you need to do is send your IGN and server, and we. And we'll take out a winner um, by, I think it's Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday, 11 p.m. PST. Okay. We'll, um, we will uh, draw a winner. And because we're taking the IGN, we'll get that ice processed straight away. So it gives you enough time to go and buy that skin if you haven't got it yet. So, yeah, if you want 1,800 ice, guys, go download the app um, and, uh, and enter, really. That's that's super easy. I don't know why anyone would not try to take advantage of that. Yeah, like just... thirty seconds of your time, and and then yeah, uh, you could be one step closer to to getting the the skin that you want, or like you say, bank that ice. All always going to use it at some point. Yeah, I would. I would be. I'd pick up these skins because we don't know what Super Evil is going to do down the line. Like maybe there's like a something later where they're like oh we open up the vault and they're back but for all we know these are gone forever absolutely i mean it's with the, the petal skin as well i mean I, I i don't play petal and i think oh, petal needs some love right now anyway um but i i bought that skin straight away because um sh- she'll be back in the top meta yeah. again very soon i'm sure um and i think looking you know, a year from now or two years from now to say yeah hey i've got i've got these two skins that came out the first limited yeah. edition skins. It's really nice. Yeah, people will be like, how'd you get the... the, the, the <laughs> we have all of that. And, yeah, yeah, it'd be brilliant. <laughs> well, awesome. So everyone, download the app uh, and yeah, enter this contest and then you'll have this fantastic app as well to just you know enhance your Vainglory knowledge. Yeah. Uh, should we jump into the news? Let's do that, yeah. Vainglory News. So the first bit of news, we're talking about skins, so it's appropriate that it's at the top of the show, but we got Star Queen Celeste yeah. got revealed. This, uh, so this skin, we had a leaked image uh, earlier in the week. Uh, someone got their hands on it, and it spread like fire. Like Just yeah. everyone was posting it everywhere. So, But we didn't know a name. We just saw like the splash art. 
And so on Friday's developer stream, we got uh, some in-game footage of this, and it looks awesome. Uh, did you get a chance to look at it or watch yeah, it at I mean, all? Yeah, I, I make a point of uh, always watching the dev streams if I can, um, and the Wednesday one as well. Uh, yeah, and it was great. You know, uh, the, the concept art, the splash art, fantastic work um but it always is you know i don't think i've ever been disappointed when i've when i've seen something like this from smc right. uh, but yeah the yeah and the in-game in-game stuff was fantastic so looking forward to that uh yeah and, and the particles on it they already look really nice so i can't even imagine like what it's going to be when like we hit that tier two and tier three skin like these skins are just getting better and better for tier one that's like how do how do you even make tier three? Like, what's Storm Queen, uh, yeah. Celeste tier three look like? Jeez, or Star Queen? Star Queen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's um, they all, they do all look good. I mean, obviously the cherry on the cake is always tier three, which is um, which is always nice. But yeah, this this um, Star Queen Celeste looks fantastic, and um, I will be getting the skin probably, <laughs> probably straight away. I, I buy. You know, you can buy these the tier ones with with ice, yeah. which is great, um, and then and then get those card packs. <laughs> yeah, so I th I feel like those cards are just going to be kind of super magical for her. They're going to look they're going to look even neater. I think I might like those cards. I don't even know what they look like, but I already feel like I'm going to like them more than the Kashka cards. Yeah, um, the cards look great. I mean, it, this is one of the other things. You know, the work that goes into not only the skin, but um, the cards, I think there's, there's 60 cards or something like that um, yeah. in, in the game, and the detail is fantastic, so yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, so be on the lookout for that in 1.10, and then also on the stream, we got a little reveal of some guild changes that are coming. Uh, so guilds were introduced in our 1.9 patch here, and I, I'd say a lot of people I see in-game are part of a guild or a team now. Yeah. And right now... Uh, it's kind of limited what they're doing, what you can do. You're just kind of earning this fame that we didn't know what you were going to be able to do with it or what's it accomplishing. And really, it's just to show off, like, hey, my guild plays more than your guild. It's like bragging <laughs> rights right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think guilds were a great addition. I mean, we, I, I created a guild um, the second I could, just so I could get the fame glory name guild. Okay, um, but. Uh, as it stands, we we haven't done anything with it at the moment because it's just time for me. Um, yeah, you know, but but what you know the new changes, what with the with the ranks and and the, what they're giving away, you know, um, for, for for all the team members is, is really, I think, going to give the motivation for people to just play together and, and make themselves better better players by playing as a team. Right. So yeah, yeah, they're giving stuff away now. So there's going to be rewards introduced as you move up in your ranking. There's going to be like these, not only like a guild level, but there's going to be these rankings you get that kind of go up from like startup to I'm blanking on the other names, but they increase. And as you move up, you also move up your rewards. So it'll start with like a certain amount of glory, and then even more glory, and then it turns into ice and glory so yeah. and that's kind of at the end of i believe the season your that's team that's right yeah i think so your uh, guild will get that but i think uh, it's, it didn't work out something at like 1.25 million glory or something for the for the guild if you're at the top level or something crazy like that so yeah yeah it's, um, it's fantastic yeah so that would be i feel like even more reason for people to play together uh the guilds and the way matchmaking is set up it's already like i should just play with my friends that aren't going to afk that i can trust and we all earn fame and uh, yeah. more likely to win as a team versus going into solo queue <laughs> oh that solo queue can be can be harsh <laughs> tough yeah uh you also be able to edit your motto and i believe uh a couple change. other little things yeah, yeah change. they've changed so you can uh, change it between an open and invite only as well which is good yeah. yes um, you know, it gives guild captains that flexibility, perhaps, you know, to make a guild a bit more exclusive, maybe if you need to take it over to invite only. Um, yeah. and that might raise the quality of, the of the team members as well, you know, that, that you can get into the guild, but yeah, it's really good that they're, that they're bringing that in and I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Now I would, I would guess we'll see this updated almost every patch, like just 
here's some more features to guilds and teams like just like we're making it better we're improving on it like don't don't give up on this idea <laughs> no no i think it's good i mean um yeah i I'd, I'd say i i do a lot of solo casuals at the moment and and i know we've you've talked about um the one of the, well <laughs> of the, it's one, one of the things you know in terms of separating the solos and pre-mades you know yeah. i know that's come up a few times and whether we've got the player base there i, I think that's going to come um i think it's inevitable that that will come that they'll separate the two but um and i think that would make um solo queue a little m more uh easy going um because it yeah. You know what it's like, you get a match and you got that little tag against in, in solo queue with the enemy yeah. and it, it, it can be hard, but it's not impossible. I, you know, you know I've, I've played in solo queue and, and beat a pre-made team before, um, but yeah. I'm sure that'll come in the future. I have and I've lost as pre-made teams, so it's, yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. it goes both ways sometimes, but there's so, just some, there's some, I guess, uh, feeling of just... Uh, it's just upset when you get into a game when it starts and they're a team and you're like, oh, all right, guys, we got to try like a little harder this time. We can do it. <laughs> I think the, the the worry if, you know, the moment if it was brought in, what we wouldn't want to see is, is like five, six, seven minute queue times, um, which might happen if they haven't got the player base. But I suppose only SEMTC know how many players they've got um, playing the game, so I'm sure right. they'll, I'm sure they'll work it out to time it so that that that, that works in favour of the game, um, and you know, so it actually becomes a vi viable option for them. Right, and that could be a you know a 2.0 kind of patch. Like, yes. Oh, we're we're adding this like big thing. It definitely changes the game. If we went, if they kept casuals or casuals was everything and added this team and solo queue, like that's big enough, I think, to say like all right, we have enough players, we're moving forward, this is a new age of the game, I guess. Yeah, I think it's. Um, I think you're right, because it's a, it would be a pretty big, pretty big change, like it was when we f finally split casuals and ranked, you know, it, it does, it, it does, and it would change the way that you, uh, your mind approaches a match, I would imagine. Yeah, I know, you as a developer probably know more about versioning than I do, <laughs> that just like, <laughs> what, what quantifies a, a, a big number like a next version versus like a point release so yeah yeah i mean it's generally it depends if the small small changes you'll have just have a small uh small change but uh, if you want to separate that out to be something big and uh, like a new product maybe almost uh, then yeah it, it maybe we'll see two Two point oh, because I think people were asking if, whether it was going to be two point oh after one point nine, weren't they? <laughs> it was, right, it was yeah. A bit, bit of confusion, but yeah, we're on to one ten next. Right, because if they don't know if we're going to see like an entire year of these seasons happen, and then we switch over, like there's no sign that no. two point oh is going to happen yet. <laughs> no, it just sounds good though, as well, doesn't it? Two point oh. <laughs> yeah, it no. sounds like oh, I've we've all made it through version one <laughs> of this game. It just got this much better now, so we'll see what happens down the line. Uh, and then coming up at the end of the season. Uh, Vanglory and Super Evil announced the autumn season live finals that are happening. Uh, so the VGL matches are going to be kicking off very soon. I believe it's uh, like two or three weeks till they start. Yeah. And then the top eight teams in each region are going to compete in the autumn season live finals. So you'll be able to get tickets and go to these events uh, happening in EU and here in NA in California and just watch these matches live it'll be a three-day event uh it only costs 10 bucks to go so that's if you're in the area that's a no-brainer to go check it out yeah i mean i i would love to head over to poland um it's just i'm on my honeymoon at that time oh, okay <laughs> so that kind of wins um but yeah it's uh it's that's i can see that being uh something that is going to be in our calendar you know as often as we can um because poland's not far from us just uh you know we, we can get there for the eu matches so that that's really okay. exciting that we can actually go and watch matches live um and actually have that physical connection with people in the community it'd be fantastic for sure and i think you're gonna be able to get 
glory and uh ice and like the new hero the next hero they said yeah. you'll be available like for free if you just bought this ticket so yeah, that also fact, that also that, hinted that the next hero will come out in december and not november here <laughs> yeah um that that'll be interesting you know whether that'll be the speculation over what hero that might be um uh, I'm hope, hoping maybe you know with the with Finn the law the t- two extra mm-hmm. heroes in in there. Um, I, I would imagine we'll see someone from there, but who knows? Yeah, Black Feather sounds interesting. He does, doesn't he? Yeah, it sounds really interesting. Very. So, I feel like they dropped the hints and said it could be part of them. So I know everyone's clamoring for like a archer hero or something like that. So. Yeah, I, I tell you one thing I'd love to see in a game as well is is an ice hero. Um, okay. The, for 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 months now, six or seven months, I've I've been wanting an ice hero. I don't know why, but I think it'd be, you know, we we've, we've got scarf and the fire, um, yeah, and I think it'd just be a really nice addition at some point, you know, th- to the game. Um, and I think there's possibility of some really cool abilities there with ice and freezing. Perhaps you know, instead of stunning, you freeze a character maybe. So you know, it's yeah, hmm. exciting. But we'll, yeah, we'll. We'll see what SEMC treats us to. Yeah, so uh, try to get your hands on one of these tickets and go check out these matches if you can get out there. Uh, yeah, it should be fun. I'll include a link in the show notes if you're wondering about them, and I think the tickets are on Eventbrite, so very easy to get. Uh, another tournament that's about to happen, This you will not be able to attend, but you can watch it live, I believe, on Mob Crush. This is going to be Mob Crush Femme Fatale Tournament. Uh, and this is single elimination, 3v3. It'll happen in SEA, EU, and NA. And this is all females on a team duking it out on the Healthy Unfold. So this is uh, pretty exciting. I believe uh, uh, Lady Wabish and Sphinx and a bunch of other Lady Vanglory players that many of us know have helped put this together. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, um, yeah, I've been watching uh, a few of these on Twitch. I spend like, my life on Twitch these days, watching, <laughs> watching streams. Um, you know, and the, it, it's great that that we that the, the females get the representation, um, just as good a match as, as any male team, I'm sure. Uh, and yeah. it's great that we, we're getting these um, uh, female only um, teams. And often the you know they're playing female all female uh, heroes yeah. as well, you know, and, <laughs> and it's it's fantastic to watch. Yeah, it's really uh, good. I know uh, there was a little conversation I saw on Twitter about people like, oh, you shouldn't have to break up these and just have like you know male sports and female sports kind of idea. Like they can play on the same teams because we have a uh, queen from hunters playing, yeah. and but I think it was it was kind of chatted back and forth and this was just kind of a thing that these ladies wanted to put together and this was their thing that they created. It's not meant to try to divide up sexes that way. No, I don't think it does at all. Um, you know, it's, it's like you say, we, we have mixed teams anyway. There's nothing wrong with, uh, with the ladies representing as the lady teams. Um, mm-hmm. and I know, uh, there's charity streams as well, you know, raising, yeah. Uh, awareness uh, like breast cancer awareness and things like this so it, i think it's really good it's a really good uh, opportunity to, to to be able to harness things like that yeah so this uh, tournament will kick off november 7th uh lots of activity on twitter promoting it it should be streamed on mob crush so be on the lookout for that i'm sure they'll be lots of fun things i know for the lady hammers we're doing the breast cancer thing they were giving away ice so there could be ice giveaways after matches just like uh some of the other tournaments do so be sure to check these out and then the last bit of news is the free hero rotation i always like to mention it especially for new players who don't have all the heroes or you don't have money or ice unless you won this 1800 ice then you can (laughs) probably pick up most of the heroes here but (laughs) yeah uh, it's always a good chance with the free hero rotation to try out someone new. And last week, Sky was in there, but I didn't see a lot of Skies out on the Halcyon Unfold. I don't know uh, about you. Yeah, in the EU, I've seen quite a bit of Sky, actually, okay. in my matches. Um, I'm only casual in most of the time, but okay. 
Yeah, I, I, I do see her. Um, always a bit of a handful to go up against a, a Sky, I think. Um, and uh, it's not a hero that I play myself too much. Yeah. I've, I've got her unlocked because I, I try and unlock all the heroes as soon as I can. Yeah. Um, but but no, I didn't see her that much. Um, yeah, I think I was only I was mainly I mainly play rank just because I feel like I'm putting it all on the line. Let's just <laughs> do it every time I go in there. So maybe that's why I didn't see her. Uh, so maybe in casuals where people are learning her because she is very hard to understand yeah. and just know about positioning and just really get the hang of. Uh, but this week, uh, got a kind of fun lineup. We got Adagio, Ringo, Fortress, Vox, Glaive, and Jewel. So all around good. I feel like Glaive and Jewel are kind of running the jungle right now yeah. in most games. So. <laughs> Uh, I've seen quite a bit of Fortress as well. Uh, I, I know of this, I think there's a weapon build Fortress that's come out. Uh, yeah, there's that's... that Breaking breaking Point Fortress. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I like to see Adagio on there actually because I, I don't think we see enough of him in game. Um, or yeah. or at least I would like to see more of him uh, in game. I, I do like playing Adagio as a Rome role. Um, and uh, I have been playing him a little bit more over the last couple of weeks. So it's good to see him in there. Yeah, whenever I play against Adagio, I'm always shocked. Like, there's there's some really good Adagio players out there. It's like, dude, how can you hit me so many times? Like, <laughs> your range is ridiculous. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, and that fire is always annoying if you're going up against him. Yeah, so. it's like, uh, I'm on fire and you're hitting me like three times and you're like halfway across <laughs> the lane. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah. So I think if you can get good at Adagio, no one is upset. I think when they see him like pick, they're like, "All right, man, I trust you that you know what you're doing with Adagio because he can play any of the roles. He can play lane, roam, or jungle carry. Like, it's yeah, fine. he's very very adaptable. I, I, it's good. Yeah, uh, but that's gonna do it for all the news this week. There's, I feel like we're gonna get more and more changes, little updates happening. One point ten should be. I guess with these skins ending this coming week and then probably the following week will be the patch. So yeah. probably about a week and a half from a patch. Yeah. So it should be just in time for this Femme Fatale tournament and just in time for some fun new stuff. Do you think we're going to get a new map for November? Um, possibly. Um, I, I, I don't know whether we're going to now see, you know, a seasonal map on each on each update or not um we may go back to the original map before a sort of holidays map i don't know it'd be nice i just not, I'm not sure if it's a little bit early to bring out you know like a christmas map or, right uh, unless they just month. remove the pumpkins right uh yeah i don't think they'd just do that i think that um maybe i i mean i think a lot of people and i agree have said they'd, they'd love to see some snow on the fold which okay. would be great um so i think we'll just have to sit tight and, and see um maybe we can find out on the next dev stream who knows yeah so we should probably get a lot of those reveals uh towards the end of next week because i'm sure they're working really hard they're probably putting those late nights with all the testing right now so sure yeah. for some crazy tweets from them you never know what's going to come out <laughs> uh let's jump into some forum static forum static so we were talking about how you like to play celeste and yeah. right now <laughs> everywhere is scarf and celeste like you well you said in casuals you're seeing some other people but if you go into ranked it is scarf and celeste in lane maybe a Ringo, but this is, I think people are kind of sick of it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think once you find the right meta in rank, what works, you know, and and, and you're playing for rank, don't forget, you know, it's yeah. um, it, it works, it's reliable, and they're two great heavy crystal heroes, you know, that, that, that work and are complemented by other heroes in the team. So I think... Maybe some people um, may be getting fed up of seeing them. I don't know. <laughs> I, 
I think I, I don't mind. I'm if I'm playing, I'm going to up against. Well, you're playing it. You don't mind it. No, no, no. <laughs> but, you know, it's although having said that, if I do play Celeste and, and then I draw a Celeste, it's like oh, so it's it's going to be a game of skill purely yeah. in the lane. Um, you know, it's, of using that hero, but um, I don't know. It's um, they're, they're two great heroes, aren't they? Yeah, I usually play if I'm playing lane. I I like playing Celeste, and I'm I'm a decent Celeste. But I'm playing Scarf just because I feel like he's just uh, just hilarious. Like he's just flying <laughs> around, his animation in the bush, and just like people kind of sometimes underestimate the burn damage. Where Celeste's damage, you're like you're like holy crap, that was a lot of damage. But Scarf is like that that dot over the damage over time, that dot damage. Yeah, I mean, I've seen I've seen quite a bit of um, Scarf and Arden comps actually because um, dropping the gauntlet and and then you know Scarf ult and people can't yeah. get away and then they burn in and that works really well. Um, but yeah, I said, like I say, I, I do play Scarf myself sometimes. Uh, I love you know the great thing about Scarf is is the range um, and as so long as you can hit those and land those skill yeah. shots. You know, then it, then it's really hard to to go up against someone that can play scarf well. Mm -hmm. And someone on this forum mentioned like oh, that could be we might see a lot of Celeste because one, everyone got her got him for free if you're an iOS player. Yes, I got her for free. And then the Bay Witch Celeste, like, so you have two reasons like that you're seeing more Celeste this patch. Not only is she strong, but everyone has her now. Or yeah, has I don't. Her. I don't think I've used the standard skin since <laughs> since Bay Witch came out. It's just my go-to every time. So, um, and I, I probably will after, even after even after Halloween's gone by. You know, I okay. think she, that skin looks so good. So, um, so yeah. But you're gonna have to decide between a Star Queen or. True. Yeah. Yes, there is that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll have to do. I'll have to rotate. <laughs> yeah. The, the the laner that has probably been hurt the most by Celeste and Scarf being like top role is scar is saw like he just oh. he just stands there and like both celeste and scarf are just like hey that dude's just standing there i will drop <laughs> everything i have on him and there's nothing he can do <laughs> no this is it i mean um you know his his greatest asset is also his his, his weakness is his you know uh, he can't get away um and against heroes like scarf and celeste um, then yeah, there's no he's just going to melt. <laughs> just yeah. going to melt in lane. So I I agree. I I've seen quite a bit of um, saw, saw going jungle. So I, I guess there's people that still want to play him, but have realised yeah. that they can't sustain in lane. So um, well, he is fun seen. to play, especially if you can get a little ahead and you just start to just stand there and shoot. It's easy. You just stand there and shoot. So. Yeah. <laughs> Or, or you see the heavy crystal, you know, and that shank, you know, it's, <laughs> and, but no, I, I enjoy playing Saw too, but I, I must admit, yeah, I agree, I've, I've hardly seen him in-game recently. Yeah, uh, but if you have any other thoughts on uh, Scarf or Celeste, like, go to this forum, like, people have their opinions on it, I think they both may get hit a little bit in 1.10, just because Super Evil doesn't want two heroes to be, like, the only picks, like, they want they want you to have that option to go almost any of the laners in lane or even any of the characters in lane. So there's going to be some tweaks to both these characters. You would probably count on it, or at least some of the items. Yeah, yeah, and, and hopefully, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we may see um, we may see a bit more petal in the, in the future. I'm sure we will, because um, there, there was a time when when she yeah. was dominating in lane, but I don't see her in matches too too often at the moment. Yeah, is there anything? you could think of that they could do to pedal besides just like bringing her back to where she was for breaking point pedal <laughs> well i think one of the things that I've, I've read and heard people say is is um i mean it's the new kit is better than the old kit in, in my opinion and we did a poll on the app because uh, we do a weekly poll on the app and following those changes we did a poll on pedal uh, and and the majority of people agreed that the new kit was better um, I think if those, if if the seeds that she, I know they did a pretty huge nerf the amount of time the seeds stay planted for. Yeah. Um, if they, I feel if they just extend that a bit more, I don't know how much you'd have to do. 
that would probably make her more viable. Um, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't play her enough, to be honest, to, to, to be able to say that, yes, she definitely is this and that. But I think definitely those seeds could stay on, on the fold just a bit longer. That, I can that see that being good because right now the B ability to the jump where you jump off seeds, uh, if, if you don't use it because you put a seed down and you're having to think maybe too much, but if you could plan like, all right, I'm going to have some seeds here, so in case a fight happens, I will be able to either jump away or jump into the fight. Like I can set up these uh, yeah. maneuvers. I think yeah. that would just help yeah. make make a reason to use the bee like there's almost no reason to like all right i'm gonna jump in and chase them like nah i'm already not doing enough damage so <laughs> this isn't gonna help no i think mainly it's if there's a seed there and, and you get caught out and it's an opportunity at the moment it's an opportunity to, to to get out of a fight that, that that you didn't mean to get into perhaps but um but yeah we'll, we'll see i mean i'm sure they've got something in mind one of one of the great things that is that they're always tweaking the heroes, you know, they, yeah. they don't let heroes die uh, and go off uh, never to be used again, which is fantastic because you want matches that are different, you know, you want yeah. different heroes, you want different um, different fights, and it, it'll continue to make the game um, interesting and, and keep it viable, so um, I'm, sure, I'm sure we'll see changes. Yeah, because I know after a month of playing the patch, you're kind of almost sick of playing the same three yeah. heroes depending on what you need to do it's like all right i guess i'll play catherine i guess i'll play celeste and i guess i'll play jewel like that's that's what i got this time <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely so, cool so get ready for that patch coming soon but that's gonna do it for episode 56 matt thanks for joining me uh before we get out of here again where can people get fame glory and twitter and all that good stuff how can they get in touch with you and download the app Sure. So if you want to download the app, let's say it's completely free to download and use, go to famegloryapp.com um, or just search for Fame Glory uh, in your iOS store or your Android store. Okay. Come and follow us on Twitter. It's Fame Glory App, um, at Fame Glory App. Um, and yeah, go get the app, go into the competition. You might be walking away with 1800 ice. Yeah, so um, all you have to do the, the, Oh, God. You say one other thing as well. Um, we've just launched partnership with some streamers and through that we, we've partnered up with DZ Live on Twitch, Autocorrect, Gibbs, Fella Faris and BG Dragonborn oh, cool. um, and we're also giving away 1800 ice per month through those streams um, just for people watching um, and, and, and playing so um, go check those guys out, they're great oh, streamers. Nice. So they, they give away the ice on their stream? Yeah, yeah, we we put the ice, so we sponsor them to give you know give them the ice, um, and it's it's all about engaging the community, and we we wanna we wanna give back to the community. There's so many people who use the app, so yeah, the least we can do is just put a bit of ice to people, really. So um, it's fantastic. That's awesome, and yeah, again, win eighteen hundred ice. All you have to do is download the app, enter your in-game name, and we'll we'll draw that later this week. So be ready for that. <laughs> yep. Uh, cool. And if you're enjoying the podcast, please make sure you subscribe and leave a review on iTunes. It really helps more people like find the podcast uh, and it promotes it up. As you know, for the app, like reviews are where it's at. Like it helps promote everything, gets people interested in it, gets higher rated. So uh, it's fantastic. So if you can go on iTunes, leave a five star review, that's always helpful. And you can get to iTunes on the website, shadowthevein.com. All the episodes get posted there. Links to iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, YouTube, however you want to listen to it, it's all over there. And then on Twitter, it's at shadowthevein. Usually tweeting, uh, you know, stuff all throughout the week of my random plane or thoughts on Vanglory. Lots of good stuff there, so be sure to follow me up. But that'll do it for episode 56. Thanks for listening. Matt, again, thanks for joining me. Take care. Shatter the Vein.